Okay. Your party, or your your characters, have been tasked by some people to go to the city of Akai and meet with a woman named Nerma. The first to step on to the grounds of Akai is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven characters. But, That's um, a lot. D7. I don't five. think. One, two, three, four, five. That is Eurissa Lone Star. You step onto cobblestone ground. The kingdom and city of Akai lays in front of you. In the distance, you can see a massive black stone castle. It is a much bigger than you expected. As you step uh, as you step onto the cobblestone area, you can see that the house to your right actually has a a sign that says Yerma's home. I wish there was a way to control the camera and where it was at. But I will ping if you want to scroll all the way out. Wait, where did that image come from? I believe she made it herself on Picker. No, I mean my character. Oh, has... I, I gave you temp art until you had some. That's oh, late. Okay. I'll find a way to move. You're a good artist. Oh, I just found it. <laughs> I, I literally, I literally just looked up Ash Elf pictures, and that was it. Uh, Akari, Are you sure that's okay? Yeah, it should be fine. It hasn't caused any problems uh, yet, so. And I always credit the artist in the bio anyway, I think. Let me see. Let me see. Hold on. I don't oh, that was, see that it. That one was from Pinterest. I think Pinterest has free use, but I don't know. Anyway. Hold uh, on, let me do a reverse image search. Anyway. Um... I'll do it. Okay, just give me give me a moment, all right? I'll... It, it should be fine, Rowan, but seriously, it's okay. Just don't worry about it. I'll be all right. All right, you should be able to move your token around. Um, if you don't see it, scroll all the way out and find your image onto the map. <laughs> Scroll all the way out, and I'll ping. The ping is a circle. We should be at the very bottom center of the map. Bottom center. If you can't find your token, um, I can just do it for you if you want. Alright, so, uh, let's see. Actually, if you scroll all the way out, do you see where the blacksmith shop is? Oh, somebody increased your token size. I don't know who Can you that. see it now? Are you on my account, Asia? Mm, oh, I am, Ana. I'll have to go back to mine. <laughs> uh, you can right-click the map and scroll in as well. The map should be right-clickable. It is. If not, I'll just choose somebody else to go first. 
Okay, cool. Sounds good to me. Let's roll again. One, two, three, four. Oh, that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six characters. I forgot that one of them was an actual NPC. My bad. Twenty-six. Ooh, okay. That is Zazriel. Rion. How dare you? You see the same things as I described before. Let me look for my token. It's loading. Loading, loading. There you go. Zoom it out. I have a question. Yes. So two things. First of all, I did the reverse image search and found that the image is actually one from the book. It's the one for it's the illustration for rogues. And second, I want to know how I set it to names only because I can barely see anything because everyone's okay. like icons uh, are in the way. Do you see where the cog is? Yeah. Click on that. Go to audio and video. Go to video display. All right, I say, found it. Thanks. Yep. All right. Cool. Yeah, that's much better. Now I can actually see. If you if you know where the blacksmith is, Quentin, if you scroll all the way out and try to find the blacksmith, it's all the way to the left of the blacksmith. Oh, where the? Oh, I, I moved my character right now. Where the hell did he go? I'm I'm oh. walking to the to the end. Well, I did you not hear that uh, the 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 first thing that you found. Oh no! I, sorry, I didn't hear you. No. The the first house that you come upon right here has a sign that says Nerma's house. My character just went missing. Yeah, I'm I'm putting them onto the map whenever you're actually in the city. You're not there yet. Uh, okay. Also, why was I muted? Uh, I don't know. Ma. Knock Did I door. do something? No, you're fine. No. Just let me tell my story, please. Thank you. Do you knock on I'm the door? Sorry. It's okay. Oh, that is. I, uh, yeah, I knock on the door. Alright, you hear an older woman say, Ah, do not be afraid to enter inside. Norma's house is always open to visitors. I will. Slightly, you know, slowly push the door open. I'll say, uh, hello. How are you doing today? I'm doing fine. The rest of the village is not, however. I see you need some help here. Indeed. The rest of the village has left. Gone for good. Is it just me? Just me, actually. Just me and you in the castle. The castle that I wish to explore one day. But sad for me, my old brittle bones can no longer go. Well, I will help as much as I can. Well, oh, that's not where you can... There you I'm go. trying to yeah, yeah, move you're good. me to you're the... Good, you're good, you're good, you're good. She was like, come in, come in, grab a seat, sit on the floor, I don't care. Wait, oh. I'll go on the other side of the table. Okay. God damn it. I got you, I got you, I got you. Oh, I assume there's others coming. Indeed, I should probably tell my story then. Alright, I'll wait here. Aha! I'll just that get him is... through a book. Cappy's character. Ah. Do I have to do an introdu introduction or. If you wish to, yeah. Nah. I've done I've done it like ten times already. It's fine. Alright. So I just do the same stuff? Uh yeah, you see the same thing that uh 
I said before. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a deep breath in. Damn, this place smells. Actually, uh, what you smell is a fragrant aroma. I hate fragrance. Uh, I tell you that my mom. it is a fragrant aroma of a flower. Ah, uh, yes, that that reminds me of something. I don't even know my own backstory. I don't, I don't know who I am. I'm just walking. The house Let's that see. you come up to first on this right beside of you had a sign on the door that said Nerma's house. Uh huh. Well, that sounds like a nice old lady. I'm gonna come in. I knock. She says, ah, another adventurer. Please come in. Nerma awaits you. Hello. Is this where the smell is coming from? Indeed, if you smell flowers. And she will start to walk over to the counter very, very slowly. And she will pull out from the desk a couple of flowers. Ooh. Can I have one, for chance? Oh, of course. She will hand you a, a flower. Thank you. I will cherish it. Of course. And she will sit back down in her chair. And she will say, Come, come. All are welcome to sit in Norma's home. You're very kind, Norma. Why, thank you. It also on the bed. Exactly. That is fine. I don't okay. even sleep anymore. That sucks, Norma. Ah, uh, age gets to ya. <laughs> I'm, right. all, I'm barely in 20. Next up, we have Wet Paws character. Oh, okay. White Paw? Sasha? I mean, oh, okay. I'm just muted. So I will walk over there and into the house. Ah, another one. And what you see is a tall lady who looks to be made of vines with a bunch of little purple mushrooms crowding through her and a large purple mushroom cap on her head. She's got a shield on one room and a staff in the other hand. Is this where? Yes, okay, this is where we're supposed to be. There are others here. Of course there are others here. The entire town is empty other than I, Nerma. No, I meant the strange looking one. They have the look of adventurers to them. Hmm. All travelers have a person, an interest in Nerma. My old stories. Well, I'm Mal Morgana, and I'll be over here if anyone needs me. Sounds like a plan. Are you the one with the spider, right? That's right. Okay. I'll a tiny black widow spider is hanging off the mushroom cap. Oh, sorry. I'm trying to adjust its size to actually. Did you we'll say spider? Arlet. Oh. Oh. Imagine oh. if it actually you could just randomly cast and enlarge on that thing. It is I can. tiny. And it's uh, uh, right now. There you go. Okay, two more. Or no, three more. My bad. Well, one of them isn't Whoa. here. What the hell are you doing? Is that day? Day, just stop it. <laughs> no, that's me. <laughs> Looks like I cast fireball. Corvin. Also, Deja's gonna be doing all the special effects and stuff like that. It's gonna actually look cool today. <sighs> that was special also, effects. Give a big round of applause and thank you to Deja for being an awesome person and adjusting the camera. Yeah. All right. You see the same things as I had described previously. 
and the sign on the door says Nerma's home. Uh, let's get this over with. We'll knock on the door. Come in, come in. Nerma awaits you. Gently opens the door. And Welcome. slowly enters. Welcome. All are welcome. As she looks at you and sees that you are a shadow, she will say, Oh, I did not expect to have such an odd visitor. Well, not at Nerma. I apologize if my appearance disturbs you. Oh no, dearie. This... this city was once full of you. However, they have all left. And it is I, Nerma, that has stayed behind. So there still are more kind and... More of my kind, those who rebel against him out there. I do not know who you talk about, but sure. Ah, an enemy long lost to the pages of time. Sure, perhaps you could find more about this enemy within the castle. And will the shadow will walk over to the Mushroom lady. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and put the next person onto the map, which is Man. Rowan's character. So if you want to, you can do an introduction. You do not have to. Um, however, you see the same things that I have described before, and the house to the right of you has Nerma's home written on it. Alright, I'm going to enter the house. Nerma will say, Ah, welcome. Please, please do come in. Ooh, a shark eye. And she will actually say in shark eye, Hail, brother. Um, he, he says, he responds, Hey to you too. He will, uh, Nerma will move up to you and she will say, Vasenai, which means in the water, brother. Uh, he smiles and nods. Which is the same. It's, a, it's a saying in Sharkai whenever Sharkai meet each other, pretty much. You're supposed to say it too. All right, he says it back. She will say, "I see you know the tongue very well, young child. Please come and sit." He says, okay, and sits down at the table. All right, and the last person, uh, I think they just left. Oh, nope, they're back. Never mind. All right, now we can go with Yarissa. Oh, thank you for adjusting the camera. That scared me for a second. I was like, what the hell happened? <laughs> so you should be able to see your character now. Um, and you sh uh, everything that I have said before, uh, you see as well. The sign on the house to your right says Nerma's home. You should have access to your, uh, to your sheet now, or to your, uh, token. Akari, if you're here. may move your token as you please. Actually, 
you want me to just move you inside of the house? Okay, cool. Alright. As, as Nerma sees you enter, she will say, I see that all the travelers are here now. Well, welcome. Welcome, all of you. I am Nerma, as you've probably seen. And as I have told you, or as the letter that I sent out for the people of the world to see, I know a way into the kingdom of Akai. And there was a person who walked inside with a crown and left without it and sealed the castle door in amber. However, I was one of the citizens from the first kingdom of Akai. Therefore, I know an entrance into the kingdom itself. Great. Interesting. You happen to know the magic used. For the sealing of the amber? I have no idea, my friend. Your guess is as good as mine. If you all have questions, you may ask them. I do not just sit and talk randomly. And what would you have with us again? Could you repeat that? And what would you have with us? Oh, I wish you to go find the crown and see why they went out of the castle without it. I wish you to investigate the castle of Akai. What do we talked about getting back into the castle? Oh, I have access to the castle. That is as easy as pie. Well, what say the rest of you? Shall we help this? Alright. Just All one right. question. How much will we get paid for helping? Oh, dearie, do not fear, I will pay you a lot, and she will hand each of you 500 gold pieces. Ooh, wow. That was my starting gold. This is just a little bit of what I have. Every time that you All can right. come back to my home I will, and tell I will me definitely more about help your adventure, you. I will pay you more. All right. Well, we should probably get going. Uh, the shadow will look up at this money and look at the money and look at it and. Well, if you're ready, come and follow me. All right, I need to uh, edit some stuff real quick because I forgot one last thing and I didn't realize it until we. It was too late. I that. This... You can see that never... uh, Yerma is very old, and her bones, uh, she walks very slow. She will stand here and wait for the others to walk outside. Um, can I test this? I'm just going to try and sink into... Uh... The druid shadow. Uh, the druids. Yep. Uh, it you go into the shadow very easily. It is no problem at all. All right, come along now. <laughs> you know this place was once full of people. Sharkai, shadows, elves, humans, warriors, different people. But 
now they have all gone away. How sad. Very upsetting and depressing. <laughs> Indeed. I have lived here alone for most of my life. With no one to talk to. Why haven't you left? Oh, because I want to see the castle of Akai fully working once again. Where everyone can go in and out without a problem. And of course, the ceiling of Amber. How old are you exactly? I'm 86. <laughs> huh? In four years? In what? Four years? <coughs> I I'm sorry, I can't understand what you're asking her. In warrior years? Like. Oh, oh. Years? Oh, yes, theory, of course, in warrior years. So were you sealed in Amber as well if you saw the original city of the Kai? Oh no, dearie. I just ha have a special way of seeing things. Farsight? Could you elaborate? Perhaps for a different time. Don't do this to me. Mm -hmm. Punish. The moth. There are still secrets to be revealed of the old lady Nerma. It's like we're just weary travelers. We love the moth out here. Ah, the old tavern. I remember it like it was yesterday. The young boy who used to work to work there was so nice to me. Yep. Oof. What was there his you name? You know. That's a very good question. I don't actually remember. Perhaps dementia is getting to me. I'm sure they got a spell for that. Sure they do. Sure they do. And of course, somebody would use it on me, an old lady. Lesser rest doesn't lesser restoration help with mental problems as well. I've tried that so many times, dear. Do not worry. Nerma will remember all of you. Well, how much longer do you think you have left? Long enough, dearie. Long enough. Either way, I we should make haste and exploring this castle for her. She will lead you all to the kingdom of Akai. The massive castle! Oops. Not that. Oh my god. I keep adding things. The castle of Akai. Alright. All right. Look at Big that is. map! Big it is. Oh, Alright. As you stand before the castle of Akai, <coughs> Nerma will walk up to the door. Also, Deja, can you adjust everybody's camera, please? Thank you. Oh, that's you. Come now. Nerma will show you the way inside. Hey, Nerva, I have a question. Sure. Why do you always speak about yourself in third person? You know, Nerma doesn't actually know. <laughs> Perhaps old age. Perhaps something different. I wonder if I'll speak about myself in third person when I get old. I have known many Sharkai to speak of themselves. Uh, 
in the battlefields most most of the shark I have fought. When they would go into a rage, they would call out with that name. Their name first before they would attack. Alright. Nerva will go up to one of the one of the sides of the castle and will just walk into the stone. Illusion magic? I'll attempt to walk through the stone. As you attempt to walk through the stone, you can see that there is a hidden passageway leading downwards. Well, well, down we go, Shadow. <laughs> of course. All right, here we go. And now, the castle of Akai. Whoa. Ooh, fancy. Huge. Also, um, big round of applause for the person who made the maps as well, Deja. Fucking like hell, Deja. Fucking hell. He he did all of my maps. Deja is amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Deja, you need to help let me get in on this so you're not so stuck. Nah, he made because this he made this in a day. He was so excited for this. Oh shit. Alright. You guys can see your tokens now, right? Cool. Yeah, they're in the bottom left corner. Yeah. Alright. Nerma will say. Also out of character, I need more. What did you say? No, go ahead. Out of character, what now? Um, I need more um, um, uh, lore on the shark eye and whatever because oh, I don't yeah, really yeah, understand. Yeah. Uh, I'll send you a, a document full of their lore uh, after the session. All right. All right. Nerma will say, "All right, dearies, this is where I leave you." My old bones are getting achy. And Nerma will walk back up the stairs. See ya. Before you, you stand on Blackstone ground. However, you can see that there is slight marble in the stone. You can see that there is a ginormous forge here. And there is actually somebody standing behind it. Huh. So you guys can approach as if, uh, if you want to. I'll approach. I'm curious. Don't forget your spider. Well, also, I need to... That was fixing something. Oh, thank <laughs> you. Is this the person? Yep. Alright, before you, you can see that there is a shar uh, a Sharkai man standing behind the forge. It seems that he is currently working on some sort of sword. Uh, hey, buddy, what you working on? The man will turn and look at you, and he will say, Welcome to the castle of Akai. Oh, thank you. My name is Nira. Nice. I am Chemtrus. I'm a moth. I can see that. <laughs> I will slowly step out of the shadow. I am not just a blacksmith, however. I am also a uh, brewer of sorts, and he will pull out a bag full of potions as well. Ooh! For a I... stay in the castle of Akai, uh, since I guess you, somehow you got in here. Oh, we walked in. I suppose that I could... Give you some supplies. Um, Yay. In Shark Eye. Well met. The creature will look at... Uh, the person will look at you and will say... Uh, in common, 
well met as well. So, how long have you been, been sealed in here? Hmm? Sealed? What are you talking about? I've been here my the whole life. The castle has been sealed in amber for... I've been here my whole life. Huh. How long ago was that? How this castle was sealed? He shrugs. I don't know. Um, do you know of a lady named Narma? He will shake his head no. Nope, not a clue. Very well. I... We'll just sink back into the mycelials. Miss Mycelial's shadow. When was the last time you were outside this castle? Uh, about a year ago. <laughs> Time dilation. Could be expected with magic that powerful, shouldn't it? Hmm. Um. Do we even know how old, like how long ago it was sealed at all? Nope, I'm four hundred Ner because Nerma didn't tell you. But we know that it's been it's has been, it been a while. Sealed? It's been more it's than been a year. More than a year. Yep. At least. Hmm. I've been out of the world for a bit, but looking at the shark guy. Do I notice anything different about him, per se? As if, like, nope. you know... He just looks like a normal shark guy. Well, what uh, supplies are you able to offer us? Well, I have many supplies. Do you need weapon or potion? I think a bit of both. Well, I can supply some weapons if you have the coin. Um. Can. Do you happen to have any katanas? Katanas? Why would you need a katana? Aren't Odachi's just better? It's always good to have a spare weapon if. The enemy gets too close. He will just blink. Sure, I have katanas. My old teacher used to say, always have a backup. Do you want one? Yeah. He'll pull out three katanas. Uh, one of them is silver, and then the other two are iron. What's the difference between the iron and the silver? Plus two. Plus two? How much is the plus two katana? 500 gold. If someone else can get, um... Potions, I'll be able to get this katana. Signed on as a healer, I don't see myself buying potions. So it's good in case you run out of magic points. I'm a, somewhat of a healer myself as well. See what I mean? Yeah. Staying alive is going to be trouble. We'll slide out of the shadow, walk over, and we'll pay, hand him the 500 gold for the silver katana. Alright, it's a plus two katana that deals 1d8 damage. Alright. Do you happen to have a special kind of shield? A shield? What kind? I'm in a little more where I can move around with it, but still keep me pretty strong. Uh, the only shields that I have are the basic ones. I don't have any magically enchanted stuff. I need the uh, materials for that. Well, other than that, um, what type of potions do you have? I have the following potions in my inventory. Uh, I have some lesser healings. 
some greater healings, and even some superior healing. Oh, so you just have healing potions, then? Uh, well, I have a couple of potions of haste, but that's about all I have. Uh, how much for your two potions of haste? I have one. Oh, how much for your one potion of haste? Uh, he will think for a moment. 750 gold. Mm hmm. I'm afraid I can't afford that, but I can offer you 100 if it's what I do have. All 100 is going to get you is two lesser. Out of character, didn't I already forgot her name? Even though she repeated a bunch of times, didn't she give everyone 500 gold? Yeah, but he's yeah. saying 750 gold. What? For, for a potion of haste. Which is actually pretty normal price. Yeah, that's the normal price of a haste potion. He's not jipping us on it, he's just giving us a fair price. Wait, so how, how much did he ask for? Uh, 750. Alright, and we all got 500? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Each person uh, got 500. The, the, the samurai already spent his. Uh-huh. I needed an extra weapon just in case. Um... You know the Odachi is close range, right? Sorry, when you say Odachi, I see that big-ass cumbersome katana. Like, the six, no. seven foot no, you're, long you're weapon. You were literally trained as a samurai to use those weapons, so... I, sorry, I know that uh, from what I've seen uh, when I did a little research, they ha those that use the Odachi also have a katana. I mean, if you want it, I'm, I'm just letting uh, you know that it can attack from close. I'll ask. Okay. I'm going to approach him and uh, um, say, Hello, um, what, um, what can I get for, let's say... 200 gold. He will pull out one greater potion and two lesser potions, and he will say, these. And he's gonna say, I'll take them. Alright, he'll take your 200 gold, and he will ha uh, hand you the potions. A pleasure. Yep, no right, so, so, wait, those are... Two lesser healing Out potions character. and then greater healing. Uh, I think Deja Heal can give So you... they're healing potions? Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Uh, I believe in my world, uh, lesser are 2d4 plus 2, and then greater are 4d4 plus 4. Also, for some reason, it, I, I accidentally added an extra thing to the inventory, and it won't let me delete it for some reason. Uh, what did you add? I don't, I don't know. I just, it's, I added, like, a blank thing, because I pressed the plus button, because I'm not used to roll 20. Oh, it doesn't seem that you had a, uh, it doesn't seem like it's on there still, so you're good. Alright, the man will say, does anyone Wait, how do you specify a potion of greater he healing? Uh, do you, want me I just, only... do you want me to add them into your inventory? Yeah, I just okay. added two potions of healing, but I don't know how to get a potion of greater healing. Alright. Wait, it's misspelled. I, I did not mean to spell it wrong. <laughs> My bad. The DM doesn't know how to spell, apparently. Roll 20 really stresses me out because it's missing so much stuff. And, like, I still kind well, of need uh, those crutches because I'm still a beginner. Yep, you're good. Um, I believe uh, raiders aren't actually a... Uh, D and D, a uh, base D and D thing. I think that's just my homebrew. I could be wrong though. Uh, so there is lesser, greater. 
and superior. How much in there, but the they're more store? expensive. Uh, Deja put it in the roll 20 chat for you. Thanks. I don't see it. You don't see the lesser equals 2d4 plus 2, and then greater equals 44 plus 4. Oh, I didn't see that. I It was overshadowed because there was, like, highlighted and box text surrounding it. Okay, anyway. Uh, the man will ask, do you require anything else? Alright, so greater is double. <laughs> um, do you happen to know... What are some sights to see within the castle of Akai? Well, if you can make it past the gargoyles, or make it past the next floor, the next floor is pretty nice. Why do you say if we can make it past? Well, the gargoyles tend to uh, not like newcomers. Uh Interesting I would join enough. you, but, uh, I have, and he'll hold the golden pouches that you've been handing him. I have money to spend. <laughs> Good luck, my friend. Oh. What if I throw an extra 50 gold in for you? Oh, yes, my young mycelium person. What kind of armor? Who's doing the typing and slamming of the keyboard? That was me. Okay. No, I was just asking because that's odd that it's picking up uh, so well. Literally, like, in, like, almost every campaign I'm in, somebody has brought up my keyboard, and I don't know why. Hold on. Uh, what is hide again? Fucking piece of shit. Hide armor? Hide armor is just a plus four. No, hold on. Eight. I gotta fucking look up my rules for this shit. Oh. Uh. Do you have uh, on Discord? There's a button underneath, like where you have like your mute and your death and buttons. There's this little thing with four lines in a weird diamond pattern. If you click on that and you turn it on, that's noise suppression. It should be able to mute the uh, keyboard from being picked up. Hold on, I gotta look up my rolling on for this character. Uh, uh, he will actually say, oh, I actually have uh, studded leather, which is better than your normal leather. I believe it gives you a plus two, doesn't it? But can they wear it because the are the stud bone or metal? Well the druids can't the druids can't wear metal, right? Yeah, so if you can make a stud like I know some DMs will flavor text it to where the armor has bone studs if they need it for a druid. Yeah, I have that. Or, I okay. have that in my world. So you're fine. They can they can have uh, bones in it. Alright. That's why I made that's why I made Orion bone plate mail or bone mail. Wait, so do I set noise suppression to crisp? Because it's already on standard. Uh then it should be fine. It, it actually sounds a lot better now. Yeah. I That's funny because I didn't do anything. Huh. <laughs> well, that is weird. That, that's so I, I weird. Would just, just, I would that just is, Discord was crisp. just like, you know what? Clap. <laughs> I would just suggest put it to crisp and we'll see how that changes it. Anyway, uh, the man will say, um, I will take 100 gold for it. Does that sound like a fair price? Of course. Alright, and he'll take your 100 gold and hand you some studded leather armor. 
Is there anything else that you require? If I were to pay you 50 gold, would you happen to come with us? Uh, help us get through? Unfortunately, he'll hand up the money back again. I have money to spend, like I said. You could have an extra 50. He'll start walking towards the door. I'm gonna talk to him now. Do you, uh, um, the... So... So, I heard you were offering studded leather, leather armor. I do have some plain leather armor. If I give it to you, could I get a discount on the studded leather armor? Sure, I'll, I'll, I'll take it for 50 gold. How does that sound? Alright. And uh, he'll, he'll actually hand uh, Mycelia 50 gold back. And then take your 50 oh. gold and your armor, and then he'll wait for you to give him his arm, your armor. I'll hand him my armor as well. Alright, he'll say, alright, does anybody need anything else before I fuck off? Yeah, one quick question. What? Are there any maps specifically for this castle? <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. Uh, oh, me. Wait, me. so out of character, it's 50 gold for... For the studded Yeah, and then you armor. just yeah, just take off the uh the leather that you have from your inventory and then take All fifty right. gold. Alright. And then I'll add studded leather armor. Which is AC twelve plus dex. So I think you go up one AC. That's right. I know sixteen AC. Also, oh, it's Deja. actually 13. It's 13. Is it 13? Hold on. Yeah, I just added it in. Oh, never mind. I got confused because it said 13 in um pounds, in this pounds, pounds, category. Pounds. Yeah, that's that's the weight. Yeah. Uh Deja, do you want to go ahead and set up HP and AC bars, please? Yeah, I'll I got it. Deja didn't even read what I posted. Oh my god. Dejamon. 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 The shark high man will say, Alright, last call. Anything else? Do you have any silk? Any what? Silk. Silk? Don't you just Salt. produce that? Salt? Do I produce that? Silk? Yeah. Are you asking about Ma silk or salt? Silk. Oh. S-I-L-K? He'll, he'll say, yeah, that. uh, sure. Why? I want to make you a shirt. Me? <laughs> yeah. The Lumosekai can't make silk themselves, but they can they're really good crafters with it. He'll, he'll Wait, how did I get values in there? Uh, um, it might just be a roll twenty thing that just adds the value. Um, uh, okay. The man will just hand you some silk and he'll start to fuck off. I'll start trying to quickly make it. Alright, and you just see the man fucking vanish. Like, from thin oh. air? Yeah. Um, alright. Guess he's pretty stealthy. Well, at least I got some good stuff. Was it, like, an, an vanish that we noticed he just disappeared, or was it, like, he just... You know, it, stealth it was, away? It was almost like... It is similar to stealth, yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, I got some armor, I got some potions. I think I'm good to go. Well, we have to make it past these gargoyles, so we might as well try. Yep. You can see that the massive golden door lays before you. Here.
start walking over there. Wait, hold on, something in the shirt. Ah! Ah! Um, could... Hey, JJ, Somebody you want to do me a favor as well? Could you make a 10-foot ten, a ten uh, sphere on everybody's character? Yep. And make it so everybody can see it. This is what I like about having a Cody M. So cool. Thank you. So, uh, just a little bit of an outside character thing. This map is actually going to have you use torches for the first time. So, the area around you is without a torch. Should you have a lit torch and are currently carrying it, you will have a 50-foot sphere around you that you can see. I have dark vision. Uh, if, you ha if you have dark vision, then you don't need the uh, the torch. I have a crystal. I can, I can see dim light within 60 feet of me as if it were bright light, and darkness as if it were dim light. That's fine. Um, that just means that you, you don't need a torch, but your allies do. Oh, uh, that's what I forgot to put in the crystal's description. Can, so you, basically... can you remove the circle then, since I don't need it? Yeah. Um, I don't need it either, but since I'm hiding behind... Let's say you have a torch as the moth person, you take your crystal and you put it closer to the torch, it increases the capability of the, the flame up to oh, the maximum of 30 feet. So if it wasn't 30 feet before, it would become 30 feet. It's 50 feet. Torches are 50. Ah, uh, well, okay, then. It would add 10, then. I have to edit the thing. Okay. The door actually has some etchings that I get to describe for you guys. However, does anybody here know Infernal? I think so. No, I know it's yes, Celestial. Is, sh is Shark High, or not Shark High, uh, Shadow mm -hmm. a form of Infernal? Yep. I know Shadow. <laughs> I'm specifically looking for an inf uh, Infernal, though. Infernal. Oh. How do it's, I see what the languages I know? Oh, it's under here. Okay. You would know uh, Shark High and then Warrior. Which is but it common. says common and elvish. Do I change that to warrior and sharkai? Uh, I mean, if you have elvish, just add sharkai. And the common in my world is actually called warrior. That's why I say warrior, but it's fine. Okay, I'll I'll edit it to avoid confusion. All right, on the door. And then it's sorry, elvish and sharkai. Because I'm confused. Because it's. Sharkai, Sharkai, uh, Sharkai is actually a different language than Elvish, uh, because they had to make it. Is it attached to the Ash Elves, or just to the location? Uh, it's attached to the Ash Elves. Okay, so then would they know Elvish and Sharkai, or just Sharkai? Uh, just Sharkai. Okay, I'll change Elvish to Sharkai, then. There. Alright. On the door you can see a couple of symbols. You can see that there is a symbol of uh, the god Heki Akai, and underneath of it, in Infernal, it reads, To the great king Akai, we hail from the demon world, and come forth from hell spawn to serve you. Can I do something to the doorway? Sure. I take my idol of Bologna and put it up to the door. Nothing seems to happen. Just check. Very weird thing to write on the door, but... Well, we know that there's demons here. I'm sure of it. I knock on the door. You can hear from behind the door uh, it what sounds to be stones moving. The 
door is not I pushed locked. The door. I pushed the door. The door opens. Oh man, that's good. And I thought it was a pull for a second. And for, and for those people that can see into dark vision, you see these guys. Well. Gotta zoom out a little bit. You guys got a worried look on your face. What's up there? Uh, I got 12 enemies. Oh, 12. Is that all? 12 gargoyles. We should probably try to do a sneak attack. Um, we don't actually... They know we're here, so they're prepared because this guy knocked. Well, uh, you don't really know they do, they're, they do they're not, enemies. They actually do not seem to notice you. Yet. Oh, uh, yet. Okay, so if you want to roll stealth, you can, but I don't think... Well, Zaz is going to, like, see that everyone's kind of looking uneasy, and he's going to say, well, before we get all antsy now, we don't know if they're enemies just yet. I could try to you were warned them. about gargoyles. Gargoyles at the doorway. Uh, yeah. Not the doorway, but the doorway to the second floor. Out of character? Holy crap, how do I have a plus 12 advantage in Slate of Hand? Because you have expertise. Expertise is super broken. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Can I roll insight to see if the gargoyles are good or not? Uh, you would know that because uh, they actually have red glowing eyes, meaning that they are ready to attack at any point. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. So. Do we want to initiate combat from here? Which I have a plus nine on. There you go. Big, big rogue things. There I've we got go. a 19 and plus 9 is 28. Yep. You if someone can light you them come, up, you become a shadow of the, you you become a shadow of a doubt. I will take out Oh man, that's right. I chose a scholar's pack. I don't I, even I, have a by torch. By the way, uh, just for the new people that haven't used roll 20 before, if you pick up your character or your token and right click, it will show a uh, a ruler for you. Oh, I got a candle. It's not doing it for me. I have to select the ruler token in order to see it. Are you on the uh, the cursor? Yeah, but when I right click. Okay, pick pick up your token. When I. Pick up your token and move it around a little bit and right click and you'll see it. I don't see it. Oh, well, maybe it's just a... Do you, do you have a actual mouse or is it a trackpad? Trackpad. Ah, uh, that's why. Okay. Oh. I didn't even realize I was missing something because I thought... I thought to measure no, 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 you no. were just no, using you're good. the ruler. No, you're good. Because on can, the left you can use the ruler. ruler. You can use the ruler. I'm just it's it some people for some people it's a lot easier to pick up the tokens. I know I do that a lot, so. All right. Carminer stealths. Well, uh Zaz is not really too worried. Oh shoot. Okay. Not really too worried and he's just going to you know keep walking in. I can't move my character. There you go. I'm in. Okay. Hold on. Uh, Whenever you get here, make me a dexterity saving throw. Do I have to make a dexterity saving throw if I pass the stealth check? No, you're not. I'm waiting. No, you're fine. Because. Alright, I'm, ju I'm just gonna go through this. I got a seven. Alright. Can I just go here? Yep, you're good. Hold on, though. Alright. Alright. Uh... I snuck in. <laughs> Zazrael. A massive, uh, fire beam of 
fucking random magical effect comes burning down on top of you. Can I And you cast... take 20 damage. Can I use a reaction? No, because this is a magical trap. Okay. I will take it. Alright, the rest of you guys see your fucking ally get burned to a crisp. Hype. I am not going in there until we turn that off. I will literally burn to death. It seems that the trap was used. I'm also just st sticking in my filial shadow for right now. Uh, well, because I give our mycelium's shadow because I give an ally within five feet of me a plus to their AC. Well, uh, so after I get scared. You know the torch? Nobody's wielding a torch yet. Nobody has, vivid, has clearly said that I am a wielding a torch. Oh, so in that case, it might look a little suspicious if I try to do, or if I do this. Uh, flame blade. Yeah, I'll let that happen. So you get a fifty foot sphere of light. Oh, I clicked it two times. I do. I'm gonna cast that one time on myself and chuckle. Okay. All right. Let's move forward when we're ready. Are you moving with me? Yeah, just move right. me because I'm actually making food real quick because I forgot to <coughs> start cooking things because I was waiting for it to thaw. I also activated noise suppression, so tell me if it's working. Yeah, you're good. Okay, good. I'm on a fire rate. Because I got a plus five to my healing. Oh wait, spell attack bonus modifier would actually be a uh, eight, so seventeen, seventeen, eighteen. I have a plus six in my uh, my wisdom. Ah. Um, so that would be plus my idol Malona gives me a plus five to my healing, so it would be uh, fifteen, seventeen. Okay. All right. I only took three damage. Oh. Yeah, I would have taken double damage from that. I'm really happy you threw me. Alright, the creatures uh, do not ha have not seemed to notice you. Should I go in there? And, uh, since you have dark vision, what you can see before you, um, Rowan, is you can see what looks to be some sort of cathedral. There are two massive braziers that uh, flank the right and left hand of you. There are also, uh, you can see that there is an outline of a statue to your right as well, but it is very hard to see. Uh. Wait, so what exactly are we doing in here? Exploring. We may have to fight if, uh... If I just kind of, like, skirt around the corners, um, can I stay out of their sight? Uh... That would be reasonable for your character to uh, attempt to do. Alright. He's just gonna try to move over here um, and just okay. um, as you get sort there, of remain... As you get there, you can see that the massive brazier that is flanking your left has four massive dragon heads. There's also a ladder upwards to perhaps light the brazier. Hmm. With the situation for our allies, that might actually help, but that would also cause potentially us to get attacked. 
as you make your way around the corner, you can see that there is a statue of what seems to be a monk with four arms in a meditative stance. However, you can see that there is something on the center on his forehead that should not be there. You can see that there is a third eye on his forehead. Hmm. Definitely seems demonic. If you want to, you can make me a history check to learn more. Alright, I'll give it a shot. That's a charisma save. That's a history check. Alright, with a 13... Well, you guys aren't over there. You guys aren't over there. That's just your rogue. I uh, will Because if you would have moved in there... Uh, I had other things that I would have had to do. All right, the statue seems to be a follower of blue because you can see that the symbol of the waves are tattooed onto his body. However, you are not able to discern anything else from the statue. Hmm. Interesting. If I were to go out from behind that top dragon head, would I be, um, would I be, like, in view of the gargoyles, or is that too far away at this point if I stick along the statue? You're fine. I, I will tell you, I will tell you if you see any more gargoyles or anything like that. You're All fine, right, you're fine I'm right just... now. I'm just gonna pass the statue then and head further back. Well, Zaz, after getting hit himself, you know, kind of laughed off getting hit by that okay. fireball, and he's still gonna take a few steps Hold forward on. and Hold on. stop here somebody, and kneel. Somebody with a torch walked into the room. Alright, as soon as the torch light hits the gargoyle, they will turn and look at you. I will kneel. I see a mushroom lady holding a sword made of fire. Same oh, difference. hi. The gargoyles will begin to slowly... Alright. In Infernal, uh, I'll say there's no reason we can't be friends. Carmina, you can hear that the, your friends are about to get attacked by gor uh, gargoyles. What do you do? Um. Activate the razor. Well, I mean, the technically mic. they're not my friends yet. Um, so for now, I'm not going to get involved. Oh, cool. I'll All just, right. I'm just going to see if they can handle it themselves and. In the meantime, I'm going to keep exploring the area. Okay. Hey, well, just stick close going, to me. I'm going to, I'm going to handle combat first, and then I will... Who is messing with the turn order? We could even we could even say that that he was, like, looking at the statues while this was going on. I, I'm <laughs> going gonna, gonna to do the combat first. Who is messing with the turn order, though? Stop doing that. All right. The time um, for mercy has passed. Fuck. Can I request something, Roof? What? Can I just go right after my Celia? Miss. That's fine. Wipe off. That's fine. That's fine. I just need everybody because... to roll initiative. Okay. I'll do that real quick. I just got the chicken. Um... I decided I'm going to make chicken spaghetti. Did that work? Deja can fix your uh, your initiative if it's wrong. Do you want to just send the result that this roll turn tracker no valid was token was selected, uh, and then I clicked it again. Token. I clicked it again, and then it gave me a one. Okay, so I'll Let me take try it again. I I rolled it for you. You're good. Okay. I don't know why it bugs out. Oh wait, you know what? Maybe it's because I'm in uh, D uh, DM mode. Yeah, 
GM no, mode. No, it's because you didn't have your tokens selected. Oh, okay. All right. However, it seems that you are the first one that has the turn. Zazriel. Okay. Well, at this point... I'll be right back. Yep. I need to see if... I'm this, also going to uh, go to the bathroom really quickly. Deja, if you want to, you may run combat. Okay. Alright, what I will do is I will cast my dear friend... <laughs> I hate having to do this shit on my phone because it takes fucking forever just to pull up a spell. Did it go through? Shield of Faith? Yes. And who are you All casting right. on? On myself. On yourself, okay. Yeah, yep. Yeah. And then at that point, I... What do you call it? I'm going to walk up to this, them in general. And I am going to swing my blade. Okay. Oh wait, that's damage. Did it roll to hit? Um, a twenty will hit. A twenty will hit. All right. Roll damage. Fourteen. Ouch. So. Um, white paw. You get a plus one to your AC while I'm in your shadow. Anything else? <laughs> did you see the DM that I sent you, by the way, Deja? I did, yeah. Okay. Just making sure. Mm -hmm. Nope, back, nope, that'll be it. Welcome back, my lord. My lady. My lady. Okay. Is there anything else, Zazriel? Nope, that's it. Cam Oh, my AC is my AC is a 20 now. Yeah, we can edit that. Cappy. Hello. It's your turn. Surprise, motherfucker. So, so uh, as this is all going on, I've just been knitting. Okay. It seems that your in friends are in combat. Ah! 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 I, I frantically run towards them. Puts the, puts it, the AC, <laughs> or puts the uh, silk away. Yes. You can bonus action dash to get there. Yeah, oh. you're a rogue. You can dash. Or bonus Wait. action dash fly. Wait, there are two they... rogues in the party. Yep. <laughs> like there are two samurais in this group. <laughs> they uh. You can miss ten more. From, missing from combat. There you go. You dash in right. combat. Oh, what Congratulations. The hell? What is happening? Oh, what I missed. Earth. There we go. Uh, someone decided to bring a light to the fight. All right. Anything else? Uh, I hey, guess I use a short bow. To the flame. What? I use a short bow. Yeah. Unfortunately, though, the gargoyle will just watch as it whizzes past its head. Yeah, that's just because I'm like move all. Alright. You know, I just kind of ran about. I wish my speed was anything more than 30. <laughs> I can get. Here. Alright, I'm still in your, sh your shadow, so pull me forward. Yes. Please. She already did. Alright, thank you. Um, yeah. Apologies, I am still cooking. Sorry, that was the wrong spell. Uh, this is each creature in the 15 foot cubes that would hit them. No, actually, I will go with container. What? 
as my action, and my bonus action will be... Oh, you're, you're actually casting Entangle? Where are you putting it? So, 20 foot square, so that it'll hit all of them, but none of us. So the three in the front are right on the edge. Okay, so... 20 foot radius square. That's like that. So, can you put me a temp token down, Deja? Yep. Uh, Quentin. Yeah. You got a plus one to your AC from being within five feet of me. Okay, that puts me at 21 now. Yep. All right, that would be the... Didn't someone take, like, 20 damage not too long hey, ago? They healed themselves. Oh, yeah. One second. I healed myself for 17 minutes. Okay. Mm. Yeah, the person healed themselves. Uh, uh, yeah, I see. So, 32 so of 35. For the duration, plants on the ground, creature in the area, cast, must make it a strength save, throw RP string by entangling poisons. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, I need to make a strength check, right? That's right. DC 16 or 14? No. Uh, that's 14. one of them saved. That's a fail. That's a big fail. Another big <laughs> fail. How many do I have, Deja? Well, one more. Bam. Two save, and then the rest of them fucking fail. I'm gonna say that this guy saved, and that this guy saved. I actually need one more, I'm sorry. One more? Yep. Fuck. <laughs> All right. Only two saved. Yep, only two saved. I'm gonna hold my attacks and everything for when oh, they hold get. On. Mal. Because Mal is still having her turn, so. Alright. No, I was just gonna say, I don't think I'm within range to attack them. That is an action. Is that not. Oh no, Wild Shape is a bonus action. Okay, yep. Yeah. Nope, that's all for that turn. I was getting my action. Con now it is your turn. <laughs> I'm just going to hold my action until the they're within range. Okay. Because uh, I don't think I can actually attack them at where I'm at without leaving um, the shadow. No, you can do take I, a step Do there. I have to make a strength save to move out of it or no? <laughs> Um, a creature restrained by the plant can use its action to make a strength check nope. against the okay. DC cool. on the success of trees. Alright. I move into Mycelia's range. Go ahead and attack with advantage, Darth. Alright. 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 Walking over. Does that mean I get an opportunity of attack because it was within five feet of me? No, because she readied an action. Mm-hmm. Oh, so the first one to move out will take two necrotic damage from Halo of Spores once it gets within 10 feet of me. How did you get those swords like that? That's so cool. How did I do that? Yeah. That was me. Oh. Uh, that, that was Deja. I don't know how he did that, yes. but... On your character sheet, when you go to change the name on your keyboard, Hit the Windows key and the period button to bring up your emojis. You can use the emojis in the text. That's cool. <clears throat> Do I get another attack? No, uh, I'm just calculating. Sorry. Uh, so they take two necrotic, right? It's That's okay. Right. So it's oh for them. Yeah, I'm just trying yeah. to get the math correct. Sorry, I'm trying to update their health bars as need be. Wish there was a way to do a private roll. Oh. Hang on. Who did that Wait. fire? Was that you, Deja? Yeah. That was. Oh my god. All right. There you go. 
Damage dealt. I will now attack Mycelia. And will miss. I will move out. Deal your damage, White Paw. Uh, it's only the first... My reaction to do it to the first enemy. Okay, now I see what's happening. Control Z. So it's only the first enemy per round. But it goes up to 2d4 okay. when I cast my... I will attack Quentin. And hit. Wait, you got a, over a 21? No, I had a 25. Oh. Can I, as a reaction, can I block that? Or... With what? I don't know. Pretending. My sword, just like actually just bring no. the flash. You take 10 damage, Quentin. <coughs> <coughs> All well, right. Shall end up. Do I have to make the save once or every time? I gotta look at this. Again. Every time you move in and out of it, or through it, basically, I think it was every time you move like five, uh, five uh, basically five feet through it. Every five feet, you take damage. Oh, it's difficult oh, terrain. Oh, it's, it's difficult to terrain for everyone else. So, 10, 15, 20, I can still get there. Oh. Okay, uh... The other guy Attempt to break free. Fuck. Fuck. Yeah. Uh, one more. Struggle. Shit. She'll say an infernal. The creatures do not reply. Zazreel! Alright, alright. I am going to swing on the closest one to me again. Oh, shit. Which one? Uh, the closest one that was to me. Uh, the one yeah, that I just two. did damage to. Oh, the, I'll, I'll do the one on my right. So the one above you? On no, my right, so it'd be the one directly next to me. Okay. On my right hand side. Damage. Nice. 14 Four times 2, so Lord. 28. Why is it times 2? It's a crit. No, the crit already rolled. That's how you got 7 oh. plus 7. Oh, shit. Okay. Just need Wait. one more 7 and you'd be in the jackpot. Alright. Wait a minute. Anything I feel like else? the damage is wrong on The damage is wrong on that, I feel like. Because my... It's a plus 5... No, so you I just, rolled a... You rolled like shit. You rolled two ones. Oh, that's why. Okay. All right. Yep. Uh, other than that, is that spell a bonus action? Oh, uh, concentration check as well because maintaining shield of faith. Hmm. So constitution saving throw. Quentin. Well, yeah, no, I'm gonna do it. And it only is when they hit me, though, for breaking concentration. Nice. One pass. Good job. Yeah, so only when they hit me, it's for breaking yeah, concentration. Yeah, I just, I forgot because I hit you before. Okay. Other than that, let me go back to my spell that I was looking at. <laughs> Here we go. Um, hmm, is that a spell? Okay. I'm gonna cast this spell then. Do, do, do. Oh, fuck. Not, the, not this spell, but if it's under this one. A spiritual weapon. Uh, I don't think we have a weapon 
I can make one real fast. Okay. Where are you summoning it? Uh, right behind the one I just attacked, but above it. So right here? Yeah. Okay. I'll wait for Deja to make that token. Uh, I don't know if it costs your action to attack. Hold on. Read it right here. Once you cast spell, when you cast the spell, you make a melee attack against a creature within okay. five feet. Yeah, so you can attack with it right now. Go ahead and hit the spiritual weapon attack button. Or roll a d20 plus your attack mod. Spell ability cast modifier. Oh, shoot, what's my modifier? Let me look real quick. I think it was an eight, yeah. God damn it. I hate this shit. Uh, 14 will miss. Damn. Alright, I missed. And then I am my turn. Canturus. <laughs> Cappy. I forgot I was on mute. I forgot I was on mute. This. Nice one. <laughs> uh, all right. We're gonna ignore that. Um, I'll roll for stealth, and I'll just sneak up on them and attack. No, you're fine. Uh, so sneak attack doesn't mean that you have to stealth. It just means that you have to be next to an ally. Okay, I was this guy. If you get next to my celial, uh. Next to my shadow, you can get a plus one to your AC. He's in five. I'm oh my god, what close. keeps happening to the turn order? Damn. So I'll just do that. And I'll do this. Yep, so that'll hit. Deal the damage. Five. Uh, could I also use my wings to poison him? Uh, what does that do? Uh, like, is poison there a, damage. Is there a button that you have to click with that? Also, what is Rogue Sneak Attack at level 3? Hold on. I think it's pretty simple. Hold on, I'm gonna check just in case. It's 2d6. So roll 2d6, Cappy. Seven. Seven. Plus Seven. 1d6 for poison. Plus 1d6, so roll another d6. Okay, that reveals that the creatures are immune to poison. Oh, oh come on. Marshall check real quick, Cappy. Oh, right. Why haven't we... Or how because we... I completely forgot about it until, like, wait, wasn't there something that we always do in general? That is a no. Marshall check? Uh, are rapiers considered light weapons? Mm, they're, they're considered finesse. Yeah. Okay, so you can but actually they're... two wheel. I think you can double hand a... You can do a wield rapiers, yeah. So, you can attack again with your other rapier if you want to, Cappy. Alright. That will miss. Mal Look, my guy is just a big arrow. Like. <clears throat> the one that's closest. And we're going to attack with this flaming sword. Ow. Ow. Scimitars are not light weapons, right? Uh, they're, scimitars? Let me check. I don't think so, but I can... They're remember. finesse, but they're also versatile. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just for attacking for in-universe rules, if I get a second attack, it just has minus two, because it doesn't add your strength. Scimitars. Uh, 
scimitar, 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 scimitar is a finesse weapon and a light, so you're good. Then, uh, no, you're hurt. Yeah, let's let's attack again. If they die, I'll feel bad. Minus two for the no strength added. Okay, that'll still hit. So. Eight damage. Is it eight? Eight, yeah. Okay. This one. Ow. Alright, nice. That will reveal that the gargoyles have an ability called Stone Skin. Uh, it is Stone Skin is like Barbarian Rage. I take half damage from piercing, slashing, bludgeoning, and all sources of damage. Uh, however, that will reveal that I am weak to thunder attacks. Everyone can back up. I know Thunder Wave. Uh, it will also reveal that, obviously, like I said before, I'm immune to poison. AC, right. HP. Uh, AC is 15, HP is 50. Alright. Anything else? I think that's all from you. Zevra! Or Zevra. Mm. Ze Zevra? Mm. It, the name is Zevaro. Oh, Zevaro. I'm going to call you Zoro for short. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the first attack. I don't think I have advantage. No, I actually do have advantage on these because of my smithing techniques. Yep, you're good. It gives me a plus four to hit. And... That's the first attack. <laughs> the gargoyle crum crumbles into pieces. Um... I will s briefly hop out of shadow, pop into his shadow, this guy's shadow, and swing at this guy. How can you do that? Do you have more than one attack? Uh, bonus action attack? Unless samurai blades don't count. Samurais don't for... do that. But that's your warrior blade, right? That's my shadow blade, yeah. Uh... You can technically wield your steel sword in your other hand. I don't have a steel sword yet, because I'm not a warrior, I'm a shadow. Oh, shit, right. Okay, then you don't have a bonus attack. Oh, no, but I do have my silver katana that I can use in my other hand. No, you can't. Odashi or a uh, warrior blade. That warrior blade specifically is a two-handed, so... Uh... The only reason that I said technically because it's a steel blade. So, anyway, you fucking can't shit. attack twice. But whose shadow oh, are you going into? Uh, I was going to shadow jump, but uh, if not, I'll just stick where I'm at. I thought I could attack again, so I was going to try and use the okay, shadows so as a way to... Uh-huh. Okay, gargoyles. <laughs> this gargoyle will attempt to attack uh, Zazreel. And will fucking suck ass and miss. Five, I can just hear ten, the gargoyle's god saying you're such a disappointment, 20. Crumble. Okay, I will move here and I will attack Malamorgana. And that is a hit for 10 damage. Oh no. Oh the, no. The other ones will attempt to strength save out of it. That's one pass, one fail. All right, that's all oh, I can do. Quentin. Quentin. Hello. Did he die? Quentin. I personally like to go insane. Me too. Hold on. Quentin? I personally like to go insane. 
Me too. Oh, my sister's texting me. Okay, it seems like Quentin is he not here. Deja, you want to do his shit? Yeah, I can. Oh, that's mm -hmm. not what I... Alright, so... Uh, for this guy in front of him here... As real will. What is that audio? That's Darth's uh, phone. And which one? Uh, this is uh, the one right in front of him. Okay. The thriller. Uh, I don't know if he gets a bonus action or anything. Uh, well, yeah. He's a cleric. Okay, so then... Nope. Well, mainly for spells, but you know. Your ally yeah. is missing 10 health. Oh, then I will take that last tag back. And for my ally missing health, uh, we are going to... Oh! Oh, shit, I... Uh, okay, well, no. Hang on. Healing word. Never mind me. Okay, so 1d4 so. plus 11, I think it was. Yeah, plus 5. Or, wait. I think the 11 is accounting. What's 8 plus 5? Or no, what's his wisdom plus 5? What's 6 plus? Oh, it's 11. Yeah, you're, it's right. Yep. Yeah, 11. <laughs> So, kill tw for 12. Full health. Okay. Happy. Hello. Uh, I'll sneak, it, sneak attack again. Use a rapier again. That'll hit. Damage me. Ten damage. Nice dumb. Oh. Don't forget to roll a 2d6. Oh, that is not what I meant to do. Nice. I'll uh, use the other rapier attack. Okay, uh, roll that damage. Oh, that's a crit. Nice crit. Thank you. Unfortunately, nice crit, that is my a lord. very terrible roll. Yeah. Do I roll? Alright. So roll Mal six again. No, it. no, you can only sneak attack one attack. Alright, gotcha. Mal Morgana. Excellent. Well... That should say 11 HP, right? Sorry. I don't no, know why you, it doesn't have to. Oh. Mm hmm. I don't have to do healing, which means this one right here is going to get. Fucking miss. Nice. nice. 12. 10 fire damage. Oh, 10? Uh, 13 is enough to reveal that... What's going on there? To uh, you've got out again from the internet, have you? Is there anything else? Me and two. Darth. Um, so... Uh, okay, so, you remember that balance between life, death, and life? Yeah. I killed a creature. So I get plus five to my attack rolls now for the rest of combat. Yeah, you're good. I know. Damage. 
Okay. Guessing it's on the nearest creature? Yep, the nearest one I can hit. Grr, crumbled to stone. Alright, gargoyles will go. This one will attempt to break free and will fucking fail. I'm realizing at this point I can't even... I probably can't even get into the the fight later because I'm ridiculously far away. Uh, I would say that you would ta it would take two turns to get here if you wish to join their combat. It's it's literally 225 feet. Yeah, but you can, as a rogue, you can use both your action and a bonus action to dash. So I think you can move 120. So I would say that it would be relatively good for you to be here in two rounds, if that's, if that's something that you want to do. I'll try. Okay, so in two rounds you will get here. If you right. want to activate the braziers, you can. So 10. What? 20. If you want to activate one of the braziers, you can. I will attack Mal Morgana. What do you mean by that? And what are braziers? The, 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 the uh, dragon braziers. They're giant fucking torches. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, 10. I don't think I have any. 20. Every pack comes with a flint and 30. tender. I will attack the moth. So you can actually light these. For 11 damage. Right. So... Zazriel, Rion. One more round until you are here, Rowan. Yeah. Alright, I'll move the 60... So move I can up, move, move 120. Wow. In just 120 feet in 6 seconds, that's 20 feet a second. Yeah. Rogues are so much fun because you can just omega speed. Wait, can... They're not nearly you, as bad as... Can you measure it out for me? I can't see. Yeah, I got you. There you go. Thanks. No problem. Whoa. I'm already really close. That's why I said two rounds will get you there. Speedy Rogue. Omega Speed. In a bonus action dash. Yeah, that's that's what... Uh, I'm sorry, what are your pronouns, they, them? Yeah. Okay, that's what they did. They dashed yeah, to bonus. get there, so... Alright, uh, go ahead and do uh, Zazriel's turn, Deja. Since he's not here. Alrighty then. Uh, let's see. So for this fella right here. Uh, I have an idea that will allow me to attack in the next turn. We are going to... Guiding bolt, this guy. You know that disadvantage, right? Oh right, what? all right, all right. Uh, never mind. It's been a minute since I played the spellcaster. Um, so then let's just attack him. Okay. Fourteen damage, which is seven. Because I have resistance, you fuck. Yeah. Okay. Um. And then. Oh. Messenger video. No, go away. Um. We are going to use.
Sorry, I'm just reading the spiritual weapon. It takes a bonus action to move, and I believe it's an action to attack? It's a bonus action to attack. It's an action to move it. No, it's a bonus action to move, action to attack. Oh. Uh, it just says there's a bonus action on your turn. Uh, you can move the weapon up to 20 feet and repeat the attack against a creature within 5 feet of it. Yeah, so the attack becomes your bonus attack. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. So, yeah, that's why I want to uh, weapon move attack. the spiritual weapon on top of him. Okay. And Does he have a spiritual weapon attack button? Just roll a d20 plus 11. Okay. Or plus 8, I think. <clears throat> Battle hit. Damage. Uh, what's the damage for it? 1d8 plus... 1d8 oh, plus 8. Oh, fire. And I believe that is force damage. Mm, yes. Cool. I don't resist that shit. Fuck my life. And that'll have that Zazriel's turn. Cappy! Hola. <clears throat> uh, this man's just like staring at me, huh? Yeah. Uh. I. Does it talk? Noises. Uh, would you like a silk shirt? Anger noises. <laughs> okay, now that's silk shirt kind of guy. Would you rather uh, like it be poison? Like, I'm going to maybe... kill you, noises. <laughs> buddy, buddy, look. Crush tiny Look. bug noises. I have to step away, y'all. I'm just I'm I might be four foot, but like come it on. is clearly not going to reason with you. Look. That is, a stab. that is a that is a hit. Roll damage and then sneak attack. Alright, what's up? Roll the Roll 2d6. Yeah. 2d6. Another 8. Okay. This is when, uh, all Rowan is needed, but they are currently deafened. But I will move them. Into the fray. I will move them here. Oh, welcome back. I have moved you into the combat. What did you say? I moved you into the fight. No, I had a different plan. Can you undo that? Oh, yeah, sure, 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 sure. That's fine. Sorry, I was watching a video that happened to premiere at the same time. There you go. You are back at where you were at. So, so what I want to do is I'm going to first bonus action dash to that square. To that 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 one. So you have to use both and of your now, both of your uh, action and bonus action to do that. Oh no! Wait, never mind. I got confused. If you want to just use your bonus action, you can move here. All right. Yeah, I'll move there. And would I, if I were to use my, if I were to attack with the bow, could I go over the bench? Yeah. That's fine. Uh, and I'll I'll even give you advantage on that attack roll because they don't know that you're there. All right. Sneaky rogue. That's with the short bow. 
Roll it again. Okay. Uh, deal the damage. Oh, that's not damage. Here, I got you. Nine. So, in the roll 20 chat, oh, you have to click on the name. Sorry, I'm not used to roll 20. Nope, but, yeah, that's good. nine damage. Four damage. On, on that one there. Yep, and then roll me 2d6, because that is a sneak attack. Alright. You can go to the dice symbol also, and then just... Stealthy rogue. Mm hmm. It says still on just it says one d six for for it's, where it it's says a, it's it's two d six because you're level three. Oh, weird that it said one d six. Yeah, level twenty is weird. Oh, Dang. I only got a low damage. That's still pretty good, because that reduces him to 40. Alright. Mal Morgana. Why yeah. are we fighting, why are we fighting, like, those with 40 each so early on? Well, it's it's harder because they have, uh, like, basic, like, rage abilities. Anyway. Uh, you channel your match, like, as an action, you can expand your body. Nothing this turn. On their turn, I can deal 2d4. Okay, so and, you have 4 temp HP? Um, 4 per... each level in this class. So is that specifically druid of the, this druid class, or all druid levels? I think it's all druid levels? That's what I was interpreting it as, so I go up by 12 HP. On 32... So, um, uh, you gain the following benefits. Spores. Okay, and then you, your flame blade attack. Which one? Attacking this one here. Okay. For Close 11. 11? Plus 3 necrotic. Uh, okay. So, 14 in total. And that's that turn, because that's the bonus action attack and action for that. Oh, Zevero. Okay. Zevero. Right. <laughs> Alright, which one? The one closest to me, so the one right here. Okay. Oh. Wait, hold Does on. It... I gotta make sure that this is correct. 32. Five by two. Nope, that is not what I meant to do. I've returned. Oh my god. 16. Are they immune to fire? No. How did I get an initiative of 11? I rolled it for you. Because you're in the combat oh. now. 20... Uh, damage? Not but... dead. Uh, wait, do you have a plus 5 to your attack rolls? Um... Is that what yeah. it is? Yeah. It's five, plus five to attack rolls for the rest of combat for each enemy I kill. You've killed one, so I'm technically at two HP. Yeah. Um, when I, I, I so. Because that can be negated. Oh, wait, no, actually, I'm dead because that plus five goes through my armor. Mm hmm. So, oh. it goes up again. Alright, the last gargoyle that is inside of the fucking pit will attempt to fucking make it- Oh my god. Alright, this guy will see that there's an open spot here, and we'll move here. And we'll fucking fail at his job. Also, tiny moth. Yes! Ah! I hit the tiny moth! Seven damage. Oh, baby damage. <laughs> Me over here with 30 fucking damage on one swing. Zazriel. The one that just attacked the moth, when they move, I'm going to use my reaction to deal 4 damage necrotic. Am I still rolling for Zazriel? Yeah, I think he's not here still. Okay. 
Um, seeing that the moth fella is uh, hurting pretty good. Um, have some of that sweet, delicious healing. D4 plus 11. Take some of that 13 health there, if you don't mind. Thank you very much. And then on the guy beside the moth. That will hit. 16 damage. 2, 8. 6, 8, 5. Okay. Cantros. All right. Abby stab. Look, look, man. I I don't want to fight. Come on. Like literally just, just claw on your it. face. But like he he ruined your fight. shirt. He ruined your <gasps> silk shirt. Oh man. <laughs> oh wait, I'm clicking off. He tore your oh, silk shirt when miss. he scratched clawed your face. That's a hit. Damage. With sneak because you are. Okay, I'm dead without sneak. Uh, I'm like content, noises. even though it's I'm still grabbing it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Carb meter. Rowan. Sorry, I'm taking medicine. Nope, you're good. Now you always catch me at the worst time. First I was watching a video, now I'm taking medicine. Because, like, literally nothing happens for, like, five minutes, and then I do something, and then I'm needed. Sorry. No, you're right. good. I'm gonna shoot another arrow at that one that they're current- that, um, they're currently surrounding. Okay. Shooting arrow. Alright, give me a moment. Twelve. Uh, that will miss. Unfortunate. Uh, let's see here. Okay, yeah, that is, that is a miss, I believe. What's the HP of this guy right here? Can see you? Hold on. I gotta see if he actually saw you. Uh, let's see. Okay, no, he did not. Go ahead and roll that attack again. These guys are okay. stupid. Okay. Alright. Just give me a moment. Okay, still a miss. Morgana. How much does this uh this gargoyle right in front of us have? Rogue. This guy? 40. This one 40, this guy right here is at 40 HP. Yep. Okay. Okay, good. So fuck, that's gonna be painful for him. If he well, survives. Let's see. Because it's currently miss. a plus ten to damage uh, attack now. Miss? <laughs> Nothing else to know about them. Okay. Rawr. Zevero. <laughs> My advantage. Oh, God. I fucking crit. I'm dead. I'm fucking dead. <laughs> Damn. Why does it have plus 144? No, it has plus 14. No, that's a plus 144. That is incorrect, that's... my good sir. I need to fix that. Okay, so 11 plus 5 plus 14. Oh, it's supposed to be a plus 14. Yeah, I'm trying to fucking fix this shit. I, I fixed it, but... Ooh. Plus 14 divided by 2. 
Okay, I'm dead without the fire damage anyway. Goodbye. Yeah. Which ups this. Alright, and since this guy is restrained and can't fucking make it out of that, uh, I'm assuming that you guys are just gonna be able to kill him, so. Unless I make this save. Fuck. Okay. I'm coming in. Wait, hold on. He was here. 10, 20, 30. Tiny Moth! <laughs> Fuck! Zazril! Um. No. <laughs> um. Does anybody need any of that sweet healing? Other than yourself? Not really. No. Um. Do you need to be healed? I can take care of that when they're done. How long does Flame Blade last? Ten minutes. Damn. Yeah. Flame Blade is stupid. Oh god, you know what? I just realized. That's a hundred rounds. That's all I can do. Okay. That's a pretty great way for a druid to just get a weapon. Cappy! Hi. Another Look, one. maybe this guy's a little go. more reasonable. I'm just saying. Oh, I deleted the token that had- no I didn't. JK. Just a tiny murder, bit more Murder, tiny... Moth. Still want to kill you. You wouldn't- you wouldn't damage my shirt that I I'm did. making, right? I- I will- I will damage your shirt no matter what you do. <laughs> they hate the silk. Me. They hate the silk. I'm gonna kill him. I kill him. Fuck. Well, that's still nine damage. Roll me some sneak attack. Forty even. Okay. Carmina. You can move. Like bonus action dash to get to where I know I okay. I know okay okay wait are they all gone oh no wait there's one more okay one more and then there's those other six over there which are definitely gonna sh trigger you wanna move there um I'll bonus action dash here okay and then um. So since I'm still somewhat out of range, I'm going to shoot another arrow. Okay. Alright. That is a miss. Malamorgana. Uh, well, oh. I get moved That's... with you. Okay, I get moved with you. Out. Well, so, technically, I'm right where you're at. Yeah, you're good, but, but I get it, I get it, I get it. That is a miss. Bonus action. Okay. That's not damage. Right. Nice one. So, 10 damage, plus... 5. 15 damage. Fire in the product. So, 7 okay. damage. Unless he's not immune to fire. I'm not immune to fire. Anything else? That's it. Nope. Okay. And now my shadow. Break him! I'm fucking dead! This <laughs> lady definitely has a powerful shadow, doesn't it? Da, 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 da. It's an ability I have that whenever I kill thing gives me plus five to shit. Don't forget to reset that shit. Oh, at the end of combat, are we still in combat or out of combat? You're out because of combat. there's another group. We're out of combat, so that goes back to ten. But dear god, just like let me kill things. 
And we'll never have a worry with any enemies. Alright, that goes to four. Alright. As the gargoyles are defeated, they actually drop some material. Oh. How many were there? Six of them? Alright, you get yep. six uh, you get six gargoyle stone and three gargoyle hearts. I wonder if they can be added to shit. Oh, um, before we do anything else, can I attempt to meditate on my blade? No. Wow. At this point, I'm going to approach the rest of the party and say, Sorry I didn't do much. I was already on the other side of the cathedral, so I was pretty far away and it took a while to get here. We can take a short rest real quick and explore and let these guys heal up. But, um, Zebra will just look at the ro the shark eye. Uh, you do roguey things, we don't see you. Yeah. Basically. It doesn't matter. As he just, like, is it wrong, okay, um, Ruby, is it wrong of me that whenever he goes to attack, whenever Zevero goes to attack, it's just, like, the shadow forms behind, and it's just this giant-ass blade that forms first, and then you see the head as it slashes down? No, that's perfectly fine. That's how I was imagining it the whole time. Anyway. I'm sorry, I just kind of see my character as that Ansem shadow. Of the Anthem, where he has the giant guardian shadow in his back. I get the most shade from your frickin' mushroom hat. Yeah, see, I cast a powerful shadow because of that giant mushroom. Oh, uh, yeah. Alright. Now that combat is over, the cathedral is free to explore. As long as you don't get into the eyesight of the gargoyles. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go back. Over Light the brazier. Oh. How much does the brazier light? Well, how much would the brazier light the area? The brazier will light the in, uh, will <laughs> light half of the entire cathedral. All right, so it would trigger. Would it trigger them if they lit? Oh, is the brazier too absolutely. large to be lit by druidcraft? Huh? What? Is the brazier too large to be lit by druidcraft? Yes, but there is a uh, there is a uh, firewood inside of the brazier ready to be lit. However, should you light the brazier, it will alert all the enemies. Well, we could get a defensible position. We didn't seem to have too much trouble with those. How many more could there be? I say we do. There's it. six more. Whoa, was that Quentin? Oh, that was Kathy. Can I go? Can I go look at that book over there? Sure, but before you do that, be careful because you see these guys. All right, I'm gonna go the long way route. Then I'm gonna go like behind the bench. And there is a little bit of the plate part where they would see me. Can I try to sneak past this area to get behind the altar? Yes. Roll me a stealth check. Alright. Alright. Stealth. Okay. What? I only got an 11? Go ahead. Oh, it worked? Uh, I technically can't answer that, but... Alright, seems to have worked. Alright. 
as you walk up to the altar and look at the book, you can see that it is actually a hologram. Or some, well, I would say a hologram because, you know, that's what it is in layman's term, but, um... An illusion. Yeah, it is an illusion. However, you can read the words on the book, or on the page, and it says, The Archon. The Archon. I know what this is, but I don't want to say anything. Hmm. I, as a player, know what this is. My character would not. Um, can I turn the page, or would my hand just, like, go through the book? As you attempt to turn the page of the book, your hand goes through the book. Hmm. Is there anything else behind the altar? Sure. Would you like to make me an investigation check? Yeah. A 13 is enough to reveal that there are some sacrificial daggers, a book on how to open portals to the underworld, and... Huh. Would you look at that? A curious button. Hmm. DD vibes. I am going to... I am going to pocket the, the daggers and the book. How many daggers are there? Just one. What? Just one. Alright, I'm gonna take the dagger, even though I already have two. Fair enough. Wait, so what... How do I... What is it called, exactly? A sacrificial dagger. But it doesn't come up on the, the, the roll 20. Well, it's just considered a normal dagger, but it's called a sacrificial dagger. Okay, so I add a normal dagger and then rename it? Yeah. Alright. So now I have yet another dagger. Dagger and dagger and yeah, dagger Yeah, maybe and I- dagger. oops, I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to. Nope, oh, you're good. All right. Now I have three daggers. All right. Um, and then um, I'm also gonna take the book. Which book? The book on how to what is summon portals. Yep. Yeah. All right. It is a book on how to summon portals into the underworld. What should the item name be? Just call it Book of Underworld. Can I just call it Underworld Book? Sure. Either way works. Mm. Oh, I accidentally added it under the weapon section. Let me fix that. Um. I guess it could technically be a weapon if you know how to utilize it. <laughs> Quick question, didn't shadows get double? Um, or was that just a unique case with that shadow in particular? What? Uh, don't shadows get double the uh, warrior points? Yeah. So I should be at 6,000, not 3,000? Yes. Okay, just double checking, because it's like, is that was or was that unique to Charlotte? No, it's not. Sorry, so you said there was a button as well? Yeah. All, all in my head, I just hear, Dee Dee, don't push the button. Dex all right, I think, I, think a, a love, I think having plus three wisdom, he would know that it's not wise to push random buttons in case it's like a trap or something. So... He is not going to push the button. Alright. You don't push the mysterious button. The button frowns. 
Wait, really or as a joke? I, I'm joking. Alright. Another reason not to push the button, it has a face. <laughs> I will eat your finger. Nom 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 nom. Alright, you also the see that there... The button found because it no longer has dinner. <laughs> you also see that there is a ladder uh, leading up to the next floor. I'm going up the ladder. Are you going to even come get the rest of us? Okay, you go up the ladder, leaving your allies. Seriously? All you right. split the party. <laughs> I'll be back, probably. What are you guys doing while that happens? I can go sneak. <laughs> I thought you were going to fit repair your shirt. <gasps> My shirt! <laughs> repair I'm your a, shirt I'm and finish a, the... And finish dash the other into shirt. A corner. Dash into a corner and then I repair your shirt. Okay. Uh, are you guys going to do anything at all? Are you going to explore or are you just going to stand there? And look pretty. I am waiting for... Is White Paw still here? Still here. Okay. I saw that you said you were... You'd be right back. I didn't see that you I'm protected anything. Back. Ah. So, I could light. Uh, We've only got two minutes before the flame sword goes out. Should we light the torches and keep exploring, or wait for the road to get back, or just start killing things? Go. I want to see if these walls are actually gold. Are these walls actually inlaid with gold, or are they just painted gold? They are actual gold. It would take a very long time to harvest them. And would probably alert the enemies. Even if I cut off a chunk of it? Yep. Mm. Bummer. Ah, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Do you want to go spider. search the area? Oh, your spider's going to go oh, start searching. Yeah. Spiders have dark vision, right? I don't know. Spiders have blind sight. But if you're just dark exploring... Vision. If you're just exploring... Uh, I'm going to do Rowan's thing first. Okay, but yeah, I'm gonna send the spider out to explore because I can go my hundred. How far away I can find from go? You're coming with me, Daisy. Would you please move the? This like reminds me of the owl house. To where the token is. Whoa! Daisy. All right. All right. Carmina, as you uh, go up the ladder, you can see in front of you a massive area full of arcane symbols. You can hear and see, even without spellcasting capabilities, the magic that is flowing through the air. It is terrifying. Can I do an arcana check? Sure. Probably won't go well. Oh, what With do you a 15, know? 15, I can tell you this. Uh, this is a very bad place to be. Because you can feel, through the ardent powers within the floor that one of these sigils is a portal to the underworld that is not yet active. So perhaps something here is meant to activate it. Maybe the button downstairs. It was right next to that book on how to make a portal to the underworld. I'm gonna go back down. Okay. You go back down. See, I told you I'd be right back. <laughs> Just going to come looking for you. Alright. Hold on. Wait there. As you explore the temple with your spider, and I believe you can see through its eyes, right? Yes. Okay. You see the entire cathedral. Uh, most of the gargoyles seem to not care that you're there. 
uh, whenever your spider gets to one of the stat to both of the statues, the statue that is holding the staff is some sort of wizard. However, you can see that the wizard has some markings on it, but you'd have to get closer to actually see them. The other statue. By the way. The other statue Sorry. is of a massive demonic warlord, and he is currently holding a uh, shield, protecting himself. Couple of big statues and not much else. What did you find, Rogue? They're not back yet. You have to come back to tell us. Alright. Alright. You climb down the he's ladder. Gonna... And he's gonna start making his way back to the group. Okay. Do I have to do another self check going by these gargoyles? Nope, you're good. Alright. Alright. I assume I have a guess that the gargoyles are only activated by like light. So I should be able to like walk right past them as long as I don't have a light source. He approaches them, he's like, I'm back. What did you find? Um he holds out this stuff. He's like, I found this dagger and this book. And there was a, a, like a, a book, another book, but that one was an illusion. So I couldn't take it. And it had, and it had like one word on it, on the page that it was turned to. Couldn't turn it to another page because, again, it was just, like an illusion my hand went through but I found a button and upstairs there were a bunch of like there was a lot of arcane magic it was kind of freaky um I know there's so there's like apparently I believe a button behind the desk um that that may activate a portal to the underworld he holds up the book again yeah, and he's like I think this is why this book was there. So yeah, if you want to push the button, um, you may end up in the underworld, so be careful with that. Well, it would be nice to see that, actually. I'm very interested in death. It would be nice to see where the soul goes. I've All studied right. where the body goes over the last 400. And as 400? it's been two hours, that is where I'm going to call the session. Alright.